Hey everyone, it's Dana here and I haven't done a video in a long time and I'm not gonna lie, it's because they creep me out. But I'm gonna do it because what I have to say today, it's not something I can put into a blog and that's usually my go-to is like, I have something I really need to tell people or something that's really bothering me that keeps popping up, I'll write a blog about it. But this time I wanna just talk about how as health practitioners we're constantly evolving and when we're not in clinic with clients we are still working our butts off and I want to just kind of explain this and what I mean by this so I started off in herbology and now not only am I a herbalist I'm also a holistic nutritionist and nutritional counselor um, and I'm a lactation educator because I feel they really complement each other and they give me a better macro view and they all kind of tie in, maybe not so much the lactation, um, but definitely the herbology and the nutrition. I just feel it makes me a better health practitioner to have that full view. Um, so when I started off in herbology, um, when you take a course in the health field to become whatever you're going to become and get certified and so forth, they give you this solid, amazing foundation with so much information. But there's an underlying tone that they don't warn you about and it's like, surprise, you need to take this further. And what they mean by that is like, here's the information, study this, but we're expecting you without saying it to go further than that, to just explode out there, to get a much bigger and better and more intricate understanding of that field of medicine. So you need to be able to take this and then go that way. If you don't go that way, you're not going to be successful. You're going to have a much broader, narrow view of the field you're in. So I learned this in herbology and I love the fact that I had to do that because I'm very research based and I, I went with it. I was getting all sorts of research papers to get that intricate view and I started to realize that not only is science constantly evolving so we have to constantly upgrade and stay on top of it but it's also an art form and I'll get a little bit more into that later um, so you have to take this and explode with it and go everywhere and get as much information as you can and you can't stop because it's constantly evolving I took the same concept into nutrition studies and into the lactational sciences not just taking what they're handing me, but be going, going beyond that to get different perspectives and a better understanding. Reading research papers, even research papers that contradict each other and trying to put away your biases and so on. So you have a broader understanding of foundation that they're giving you. So as health practitioners, our education is just not just in school this and this is how many hours you need to do. We have to go beyond that. And that doesn't stop. Once you've received all those beautiful fancy titles and all those credentials and you get the insurance and then you go into clinic, you constantly have to evolve and keep up on it. So I'm constantly taking courses and again, they're giving you that foundation and you need to go further than that. And then when I'm not in courses, I'm constantly reading research papers. I'd say about one to two, no, at least two, two to three research papers a week I'm reading. Um, I'm constantly reading and researching for my client's sake, for my knowledge sake, and so on and so forth. So I'm constantly evolving. Um, so you have to take that. But another thing is learning by experience. So you have the strong book foundation, but then you have to implement it with real people. So that's where the clinical experience comes into play. And I've learned so much from my clients. It's just unbelievable. Um, how I intake clients now versus in 2011 when I first started is so different. Um, the programs I create, how we implement them and how we're doing them is constantly evolving. The information I'm providing is constantly evolving because there's so much going on in the world of science. It's constantly. That's why, honestly, scientific fact you can't say that because it changes. Maybe last year it was scientific fact, now we know more or we know something different, something else came because we're constantly evolving. Even my textbooks, when I first studied uh, lactation education, I got this expensive, huge book. You only find out the year after, once I was done with it, it was null and void. I had to re-upgrade and buy the new edition of the book. So we're constantly doing that. So as health practitioners, when we're not in clinic with you, we're researching your case. We're putting together a, a strong 
file for you and information and program for you, but we're also researching. So we're on top of the science to better help you. We're investing our time, we're investing our finances because those studies cost money. Going back to school and taking courses cost money. Uh, insurance costs money. We're constantly inputting this stuff behind the scenes. So often when we look, especially in the alternative field, um, you'll notice a lot of us have weird hours and that's because we can't dedicate a full day like a nine to five clinic setting because we're going beyond that like if i get a new client i go home and i take time and research that client and make sure i can put together a well good designed program that's where the artistic aspect comes in we have to be creative we have to take in consideration that person who they are and as I get to know them I may tweak the program because I'm realizing their personality doesn't fit with that or and this has been recent experience I've never had to do this before I've had to let clients go because they didn't fit with me and that was really hard on my ego I'm a very sensitive individual and to realize that a client's not working with me was very painful for me um, but now I'm realizing, you know what, it's not me, it's just that dynamic. What they want from me is not something that I can offer because I'm a wellness-based practice and they want quick solutions, which is more diet-based. And that's not something I'm going to do because of my strong foundation in nutrition. I know that diets don't work. So if that's what they want from me, I can't give it to them. It just doesn't work, so I have to let them go. So it's not me, it's the situation. So we're constantly evolving even on the emotional scale of how we relate to our clients. Um, I'm always worried that I'm either too sensitive and too caring and I don't push hard enough, um, but I'm realizing from feedback from clients and feedback from clients is so much appreciated and so helpful, helpful and helps me evolve that I have a nice combination of both. I can push when it needs to be pushed um, and then I can, you know, step back and sympathize because I've been in a lot of their situations. I've been the client. I've been the person struggling with weight and so on. So I can kind of sympathize, but I have to have that balance. So we're constantly evolving on that end. So that's what goes behind being a health practitioner. It's not just sitting in clients and saying, sitting in clinic with clients saying, this is this, or in a program, this is this. We're constantly doing stuff behind the scenes. And I just wanted to explain that. Um, one, because I think it's really important for people to understand what's going on when I'm not with clients. This is what I'm doing. Um, also, I think for those people who want to go into this field, to understand that it's not just courses, it's way beyond that. And if you don't have the time, commitment, and passion, then it may not be for you. You don't want to be one of those stagnant health practitioners who just learned the bare necessity, got the title, and worked within that. You want to be able to explode and constantly evolve and give the best that you can to your clients. Um, and again, as you can see, it's science in an art form. So I really hope this video uh, isn't way out there um, and gives you a better perspective of things. All right, talk to you later.